Hey, look at that. Johnny Millennium has joined me again, and we are talking about a video game movie, and we all know video game movies always suck, right? Well, for the most part, they do. I enjoyed Mortal Kombat back in the day, <laughs> that's for sure, and I, I enjoyed the original Mario Brothers movie in 1993. No, I didn't, and nobody <laughs> else did. You're all lying. If you I said was you like, what? I know, I knew it. I just <laughs> throw that on you. But you know what? I mean, this new one was coming out. I, I was like, okay, you bitch is going to go see this. Maybe I'll go down as well. Awesome. And let me say, expectations super low. Well, we had to see this, right? We, we, we I mean, we're two video game nerds. We review video games all the time. You've probably reviewed 50 million so Super you. Mario games, and so have I. And you know what? I mean, the fact that Nintendo worked hand in hand with Illumination, and you can see it in every freaking frame of this movie, really makes a difference. It really sells the experience. Okay, but, but the, okay so we got some good visuals. Yes. Everybody knows that's from the trailers. Yes. But is there a movie of substance that lives up to the Mario name? I think it does. But I think the other thing that we have to take into consideration with this movie, because it's not a perfect film. No. You know what it is? It's a theatrical thrill ride yes. through the Super Mario universe. Uh -oh. And we get all kinds of cool pockets and fun vignettes and moments from Mario games crafted for a feature film. And that's the interesting thing that you said there. It's a lot. It's a and lot. It's a lot of fan service. Yes. And I'm going to say this. The more Mario games you played, the better it will serve you in this movie. The more enjoyment yes. you will get out of it. But a regular person or a regular kid can go in and have a bit of fun as well. But there, this movie is tailor-made for fan service yes. at its highest degree in every single shot and frame and sound effect and music. Yeah, the music's amazing and yeah. the fact that Koji Kondo gets a big shout out in the credits. The fact that it's brought to us by Shigeru Miyamoto at the beginning, you know, he's a producer on the movie. It, it and, and Satoru Iwata gets recognition in the credits. The fact that there is so much Nintendo love. I mean, I got chills down my spine a few times watching There's this There's some moments that yes. are really, really great. Uh, yeah. Again, a lot of fan service, and I know yeah. I'm saying that because a lot of the movie just feels like surface fan service. It could be fan service the movie. It could be. But I think that's not a bad place to exactly. begin. It's right? not a bad place to begin. Yeah. And we're not going to spoil the movie. No. But we're dealing with a couple of real life plumbers, as we know, yeah. with Mario and Luigi, played by Chris Pratt. And Charlie Day as Luigi, and they're really solid. Yeah, they yeah. are. And it's kind of weird. We start you know, off in the real world, and I'm yep. like, okay, maybe it's all going to take place in the See, real world. That's what I loved about this movie, and I don't, I don't want to talk too much about it, but yeah. the fact that there is this alternate universe aspect to this film is very special, and I think that's a really interesting way in that they got into the story because once we're into the Mushroom Kingdom and Things. all of these different islands that we know from the games, there's a lot of member berries. There's a lot of like, oh yeah, oh, oh geez. yes, I've seen that. So oh much. my God, oh yes, oh they got that in. Oh, oh that sound effect, yeah. oh that music, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, I got shivers. Yes, we kind of go into this alternate kind of world, a world that we know so very well. Yeah. That's where all of a sudden I'm having a great amount of fun yeah. and I'm absolutely loving the movie. What I was actually kind of worried about with this movie was that it wasn't going to look that much better than the cutscenes that we've seen in the video games. Oh, okay. And it really does. This is absolutely staggeringly beautiful. All of the yes. animators and the visual effects and all of the, the flourishes that brought it to the big screen, it was gorgeous. It was one of the prettiest looking movies I've seen in a long time. And that's an interesting thing. You can watch this movie as a movie yeah. or as a Nintendo fan of Mario games yes. and say, oh my god, is this the future of Mario games in the future? Is yeah. Are we going to be seeing these level of uh, graphics in games? Well, I think it's insane that we've insane. got this movie and yeah. not a game that looks like this movie. I think we're going to get there. We're just getting off the Switch right now. Yeah. So I think future generations of consoles will get there. Yep. And I think this is a real nice window into the direction that it's going to go into. Yeah, I believe that too. And I, I think it's pretty cool too that they kind of cement the relationship between Mario and Princess Peach. And of course, we see that Donkey Kong is in there. But the truth about the Mario experiences is that they've never been like super strong story and they're, they're not No, they're not supposed to be. This is not Resident <laughs> Evil lore no, no. or anything like this. It's Mario, it's Luigi's It's not The toad. Last of Us. Yeah. No, it's not The Last of Us. I mean, it's very super, superficial uh -huh. uh, on the surface, and I'm not saying that to take away. I like it. It's charming. It's beautiful. It's nice. I feel at home here. I felt very at home as soon as we got into all of these worlds. But, you know, Illumination has done some really incredible work with the Despicable Me franchise and uh -huh. Minions and stuff. Stuff that comes off as just being like cartoon Pablum, like great for every age and 
but then there's always a heart and a real theme and a message underneath all of that. This one doesn't really have that. And does it really need that, though, in no, the end of the day? Because no. then it wouldn't be Mario. I, but I still way. would feel like I would have liked to have left the theater feeling like, oh, there was another layer of artistry in terms of craftsmanship and storytelling. A lot of these CG animated works, like right. the Spider-Verse, there's lots of them that just have so much extra heart and soul in there. I think this right. is all about just hitting the notes for, and, and for then, the worlds I, that we're familiar with. That's a brilliant with. way to put it because yeah. it hits all of the notes that it needs to. Yeah. All of that, I know we're saying it again, Member Berries for a fan service is there from every world, every yeah. single game you've seen, it's there. You'll be like, oh my God, is that character? All that. But for me, when we got into the final act, yeah. that's when it kind of just, I kind of drifted out a little bit. Me too, bit. it's too big. It's, it's yeah, it's no, like, we, it's we, like the Marvel movies, it's like everything when it just escalates. It just to escalated it. to such a point, and I'm like, like what, where, what more can we escalate to? It kind of, <laughs> it kind of is that. Yeah. But uh, let me say something, let me bring this back down to earth here. We're two 35. year old men reviewing a Mario movie. Yeah. I was watching this thinking that my daughter, I still think this is a little bit intense for my daughter to see because she's three, yeah. um, but I think in time she's really gonna love it. I think this is a great movie for children. I think kids are gonna love this. Well, I think fans are gonna love it. I really and fans do. Fans are going to love it. Fans if you like are, Mario, I, you're going to like this. I, I mean, there's so much that I love about this. I can't wait for my daughter to see this. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely going to go see it in the theater again with my kid. And yeah. I want her opinion on all of it. I think it's a great piece of work. It's, it's fun. really cool. It's, it's fun. fun. And it's it serves fun. the purpose. And it sets up the future. And, our, and the other important thing is that it sets up a quality bar just like The Last of Us has done for future video game adaptations. Oh, I'd like to see. I'd like to see more. Yeah. I'd like to go back. I know, okay, we've got to talk about something here. Yeah. We haven't talked about it yet. Yeah. The voice acting. Oh, right. The yeah. voice acting of Chris Pratt. I got to say, I was like, oh my God, they haven't got Charles Martinet. I was the biggest kind of angry guy about this. Yeah. Uh, you know, because he's, he's oversaturated as well. And he's oversaturated yeah. in every darn movie. I, and, but I, I, with Charles Martinet, I've hung out with the guy. I've had lunch and dinners with the guy. He's great. He's a great guy. Yeah. And could he have pulled off this movie? I'm going to say this. He could have done the whole movie. Yeah. Charles Martinet could have done the whole 100%. movie. 100%. But they wanted that star power of Chris yeah. Pratt. That's why Chris Pratt is there. And I think it was a bit of a rob. Yes, there's a cameo there. Yeah. I will say, I'm not going to say where. You he, know what, though? He's solid as Mario, Chris Pratt. Yes, he is. And Charlie Day is solid as Luigi. Yeah. But the star, voice-wise, is Jack Black. Jack Black. Stole the show. I really enjoyed him as Bowser. What he's singing and oh, he, he, we he, laughed. That yeah. was the bits we were laughing at yeah. and really enjoying. Yeah, he's he's incredible in this. And Seth Rogen is solid as Donkey Kong, but yeah. he's Seth Rogen. He says he's, he's, I mean, love him or hate him. <laughs> he doesn't you know, I don't do voices. Love the guy. He, yeah. and he's, but he's he's funny as hell. It's good. I mean, that's really good casting yeah. that way. I think what happens with Chris Pratt and Charlie Day, oh. and to some extent with Anna Taylor Joy yeah. as, as Princess Peach, they kind of disappear into their roles, but it's not really like star moments with their voices. Yeah. You know, which is, I think, okay. Like, like what I was thinking, even Chris Pratt doesn't say a lot through the entire movie. He doesn't yeah. say, like, huge dialogues, no. like no. monologues or anything like that. But that's why I feel like Charles Martinet could have pulled it off, 100%. but they wanted they wanted that, that, that flashy young guy they do. in there. It would kind of answer the why doesn't he speak like the Mario that we see in the video games. Yeah. They do answer that, and I thought that was very clever. That it's, was it's a very, very clever, very sequence. clever kind of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Right in the beginning and all yeah. that. So it kind of like squashed that. Yeah. And said, okay, let's just get in the movie. I must admit, going through the entire movie, I kind of just took everybody's characters. I believed yeah. everybody. Yeah. I wasn't going, oh, that's wrong. I don't like that. It's. I just kind of went with it. It felt. It felt good. It's yeah. quite a journey. There's actually quite a lot of stuff to sink our teeth into. I want to see it again. I'm never seeing it again, I don't think. <laughs> no, I'll see it with my daughter, but I'm not going to be sitting late at night going, I'm going to see Mario. No, I want to see it again because well, everybody wants to honk their approval here. Everybody's I, honking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see it again. Definitely want to see it with my kid, but we got to score this from what we have just seen. What are you going to give Super Mario Brothers? The one thing I do want to say, it's an hour and a half long for anybody out there who's wondering. Bonus this points. is not a three hour John Wick film, <laughs> just so you know. So you in and out, you'll have a good time with your kids, you're on. I would say. I'll give this movie a 7.5. I'm a little bit higher than you. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Good job, Nintendo and Illumination. Can't wait to see where this leads.